everyone, this is Waylena from the William M. Starkle Planetarium at Parkland College in Champaign, Illinois, and we are celebrating the Mars 2020 mission. Yes, the landing of the Perseverance rover. Not only going to have a rover, but it's going to have its own helicopter, and the helicopter is called Ingenuity. Very excited about this mission. And part of that celebration, I'm uh, sharing some of the ways that I use my favorite free and open source software, Blender, to uh, create. Uh, Mars content and uh, um, this is stuff that you can do uh, at home it's a lot of fun and in this video we're going to um, we're gonna find two different ways of bringing in models from uh, that are created from other sources uh, 3d models and uh, we'll do one as a regular import type and one uh, as uh, pulling it from another blender file okay so what do we need? Well, we need Blender, and you download it from blender.org, go to the download link, you can download what it uh, suggests for your operating system. I'm using a Windows machine here today, and for Windows, I generally go with the portable installer, uh, I'm sorry, the portable version, not the installer. And that way I just unzip it and I run it from the folder that um, is extracted from the zip file. So I can have several different versions of Blender all on the machine at the same time and they don't interfere with each other. I love it. And uh, the models that we're going to use, we're going to go to NASA's 3D resources, the 3D models section. And um, I've found a few different ones to use. Let's see, I'm going to go, well, first of all, Ingenuity, the helicopter. We'll go all the way down. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. And here it is in the I section. And click on that, and it's a zip file. So um, I've already downloaded it, but uh, inside the zip file, uh, you find uh, the models and uh, textures, all of it is in there together. And there's a blend file too, if you want to pull it in that way. The other models are going to be, um, let's see, there's one under M for Mars 2020. And I skipped right past it. Look at that. There's the M's right there. Um, M2020 model rover perseverance and that's just uh, two different kinds of model files has textures and things along with it but I'm going to use the um, the one under P for perseverance of course my microphone just loves me saying perseverance all that P popping I need to get another screen on my microphone I think so again, the zip file, and it contains everything that we're going to need. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Blender, which of course I already have downloaded and open. Um, your copy Blender might look a little bit different, not too much, but I've enabled uh, some additional um, tools and changed the interface a little bit for my, my customized liking. Okay, as always, I love the default cube. It is nice and warm and welcoming, and we're going to delete it. So I've selected it. You can tell it's selected because it's orange, right? There's the camera, there's light. Okay, so I selected it and I'm going to delete it. I could use the X key on Windows. I can use the delete key or I could go up to object and I could uh, delete through the menu that way. There we go. Now um, to import one of these models. Now again, I've already uh, opened up those zip files with the models. So I'm going up to File, Import, and I have choices of the file types to import. And um, these choices here are customizable. If um, you go to Edit and Preferences and Add-ons, then let me center this up very nice. And I'm going to scroll over to the these ones that say import export and this is where you enable the importing and exporting of a variety of different types in another video we uh, enabled and used the uh, uh, digital terrain model uh, importer that was kind of fun and uh, you see lots of different formats in here um, you might want to do STL one of those Mars uh, perseverance models is an STL format but um, the one we're using is a, a GLB format which is part of the uh, GLTF 
importer exporter. So I've already got it enabled. So let's go ahead and import that model. Now I'm just surfing over to where I put it. And um, so inside that zip file for Perseverance, there's textures, which don't worry about those because uh, the model will know where to find them in this case. So pull it in and it is uh, already, already assembled, yet the pieces and parts are separate. Kind of fun. I've just switched to rendered view and I'm going to deselect everything so that we can see the textures a little bit. I'm also going to switch my render engine. I usually keep it on cycles for uh, full dome planetarium stuff, but we'll go with the EV render because it's much smoother. Look at that. And I'm going to put some better lighting on this model. Selecting our light, switching it to sunlight. Yeah, I know that's too bright. That's okay. There, I like that lighting better. So that is kind of cool. Now, uh, because the pieces are all separate, uh, you, you'd want to learn how to uh, parent objects to other objects to be able to animate it but it's just kind of neat to be able to get started with models that are already provided. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to deselect the light because I don't want to... Ah, come on. Let me select nothing. There we go. And I'll pull that this way. There, I, select, I accidentally selected the light again. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of that model because now I'm going to show you the other way to bring in a model and that is from an existing blend file. We don't import from blend files but we can append. So I'm going to the same folder where I found the folder for the GLB file and here I see, oh look, there's a blend file. Someone already did this and it's in the package that you download from the NASA resources page. Click the uh, pen button, go into, now this is where you could, uh, this is where you select what you want to take out of that file. And I want the whole, I want all the objects, all the objects. So I've hovered over the list and I've hit the A key. So a key uh, twice in quick succession deselects, A key once selects, so it's for A for all. And I've brought it in and it actually came with its own light, which is okay. I'm not going to worry too much about it. But here's the fun thing that someone has already done for us. Notice this model's a little compact. It seems to be missing a few things, but no, it's not. I'm going to now set the timeline in motion to play the animation. Look at that! Someone already animated these parts for us. So that's kind of cool uh, if you do uh, append the object from all the objects from the blend file you can then look into seeing what parts were animated and uh, how they did it and it can be a fun learning uh, experience to, to see how they did it. And then um, something that I haven't done yet but might be kind of fun is to, let me go ahead and um, I'll just start with a new file on here. Don't save. I'm going to delete the default cube. The other model, the uh, Ingenuity model, it is not animated. So if you go through the Perseverance model and figured out, figure out how they animated that, then you might want to go into the Ingenuity model and animate that one yourself. Now that one, uh, again, you can append it, append it from the blend file or you can import the GLB um, file right there.
takes a moment for the textures to load. Also, I'm going to change the world view to not be gray so it's not reflecting gray on us. And I'm going to change that light into a sun because I, I just like it better for these models for some reason. Very cool. So you can have a lot of fun with these, play around with it, um, uh, figure out what parts you would want to animate. Uh, but yeah, the models are there. They're free for the downloading. Blender is free for the downloading. And uh, I'll make sure to put these links in the notes uh, because there's a, a whole wonderful universe of free resources out there that we can use for uh, creating and modifying uh, content. It's a lot of fun. So hope you have a good time with it. Let's celebrate Mars together. Mars 2020. Woohoo! And the uh, Perseverance landing. Very excited about this. So, um, yeah, that's about it. See you under the stars.